The following video is for the teen and adult collectors of the community. Not made for kids under 13. What is up, everybody? My name is Ryder Renegade, back with another unboxing on another Kunzu vehicle. And also the first ever review and unboxing on one of these. It's the Kunzu Spider Walker. That is way too close. Okay. This is the Kunzu Spider Walker. An official thing. Like, this is not some kind of, like, perfectly edited thing that I just also managed to surprisingly get. This is the same thing similar to the Shogun Transformer. It was never released in the United States, actually. Um, this box is actually more huge than the Shogun Transformer came in, and it's actually more lightweight. So the Kunzu Spider Walker is, well, a walker, and it's possibly more bigger, I guess, than the Shogun Trans not Shogun Transformer, the Juggernaut Battle Walker, and, uh, it basically maneuvers like a spider. It even comes with missile launchers as well. And there's just a lot more things to discuss about. Now, there's really nothing very specific about it on the other sides of the box. It just shows the spider walker over and over and just, like, editing on the spider walker, just maneuvering. But it does show here a bigger image on every single Kunzu from the Wave 2 line. Which, um, I'll get to mention. Gosslar with the Scabard, KZ with the Moonshade, she C C C5 with the Battle Lord, Sphinx with the Ash Lord, Tull with the Charger, Neon Release Boy, Howler, and the Sonic Thrust, Abraham is with the Black Storm, Io and the Afterburn, Jammer and the Flux D, Tekla and the Fire Lord, Coldface with the Jado, which I want to mention this actually, which I forgot to mention. If you can see here, actually, in the Jado, it actually has, like, some edits of Cold Space on it. But in the stock image, originally online, it has basically the fluffy blue and white uh, Kunzu that we don't even know. And then we have the Dogmar, um, the Darkwing and Dogmar. I, I can't even speak. I already just reviewed the Shogun Transformer. And there's really nothing else big about this but besides the Spider Walker itself. But it also shows a little sticker there for the Quest for Zoom movie coming soon. I feel like this would basically be like a an entrance of basically the Kunzu monsters being introduced to the Kunzu line. But that's just me basically talking about Kunzu monsters and their possibility of being listed. And uh, before I actually unbox those, there's actually one thing that I want to mention about the Spider Walker. The first time I ever saw the Spider Walker was w when I first saw it on the New York Toy Fair of 2011. No, I did not go there, but there's like pictures of it, which I'll show you right here. Uh, it had like a tint of orange, which is basically just the lighting, which I, I get that. It's normal. It also appeared in the London Toy Fair in 2011, along with the Shogun Transformer, which I also forgot to mention. It's also there in like that booth, along with a Sonic Thrust, which I think may be one of the many few Sonic Thrusts that were released. Not not released, actually, but like made. And in the Power of Zoo, Bunzu actually has um, a defense system of two purple Spider Walkers. Two of them, and they're purple. Which got me thinking on, like, possible recolors of, like, the Spider Walker and the Shogun Transformer. Kind of, like, similar to how I got to the Fox one. I'm not taking any guesses that the Spider Walker that I got will be a recolor. But I may just be very more excited to this. So now, let's get to unboxing. Which I gotta get my knife out. Oh, I'm dropping the instructions from the Shogun Transformer. But, uh, just be careful using knives to unbox these things. Gotta mention that, as always. And, uh... It has more tape than the Shogun Transformer. Not going to be that difficult to unbox. Again, it's quite simple. And then we just open up this huge box. Oh my god. And there's even like little dents on it, which... Oh man, this is quite more difficult than I thought. Oh, there we go. It... Yo, that is huge... Okay, I don't know if it's originally supposed to be, like, red or orange, because I got an orange tint thing. I'm not sure if that's normal. God, this is actually more difficult to get out than the Shogun Transformer. The Shogun Transformer just, like, slightly pop out with ease. Alright, there we go. This thing is huge and is lightweight. Anything in there? Nope, nothing. But is it bigger than the Juggernaut Battle Walker? I have to test that theory out. Nah, it's actually the same size. Oh, what? Okay. Now, to open this. Uh, like that. Oh, this I hate. 
Oh, man, I don't like that. The blades are, like, bent. Oh, they're rubbery. Oh, no wonder why they're bent. The blades are rubber all this time. And the legs aren't rubber, but, uh... Oh, I thought it didn't come with the missile launchers. Oh, God. That scared me. But, uh, here they are. The missile launchers. And the missiles as well. And the, uh, the fins or whatever these things are. I do not know what are they. It comes with one vehicle, two ally, two reggae missiles, and two missiles. I... Oh, they are wings! Okay, but at what cost a spider needs wings? Unless it's like a very jumpy spider. This is very lightweight. Oh my god. I thought these blades were like plastic and they were just horribly bent. No, but they're just rubber. So I'm guessing that's good to like jab. But uh, yeah. That's nice. It's quite unfortunate that basically the blades are bent. But I could basically like fix that. I've dealt with rubbers before. This may be a longer review. So. Because that's. Oh, ow. It has more pieces than the Shogun Transformer. Okay. Here are the missile launchers. Don't know how strong these things are, and these are basically the same colored missiles to the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the Juggernaut Battle Walker. That is horrible. I do not like that spring. That spring is bad. Yeah, no. The, 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 the Shogun Transformer has, like, stronger, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, launchers, like, more stronger springs. And then the wings are right here, which, uh, I do not know why there's wings for some reason. I guess, um, Spider Walker tends to glide, if that makes any sense. Which I thought basically these would be, like, blades, but no, they're wings, basically. Which, uh, that's sort of cool, but, like, I don't know why they're, like, wings. Yeah, they're, they're wings for sure. Thought these would basically be like blades as well, but um, I guess not. This this spider, I do not know how this is going to move. Oh, looks like these little antenna things are rubber. Inside it is nothing really special. It's just um a little mechanic thing. I do not know how this is going to move. Actually, I really don't know. I'm not expecting anything like very well to be like maneuvered with this thing. So, don't expect really much, like, um, anything to, like, be so amazing. And the wings just easily just get attached there, and you can, like, easily remove them for storing purposes, I think. Not really too sure. Look, just, like, just be clear that this was my first time also seeing the spider walker, like, actually here in person. But, uh, yeah. Here it is. The spider walker itself. It is so weird looking. Look at this. Wolfie, check this out. Look at the spider walker. It has like an orange tint, so it must have been not just the lighting, but I think it might be the lighting from that. So it's supposed to be like orange. Damn. Yeah. Well, uh, I got Tekla here with me. Yeah, Tesla. So let's see how this works. <laughs> oh, even Tekla gave up. Okay. Yeah, this is not the best vehicle ever. What up? Oh my god. Yeah, this doesn't really move well. And the blade supposedly move, that's what I know. Not sure if it's really like the wheels that are a problem or just the spider walker just does not like move properly at all. It's most likely not because of carpet, unless it could be the carpet. But I'm gonna have to get in like some stronger batteries for Tekla or maybe stronger wheels to like maneuver this thing. But the missile launchers most likely they're just horrible. Let me just Test that theory out. I mean, they're more a little more stronger than the Juggernaut Battle Walker, I guess. But, uh, they're not perfect. Like, they're not A-plus perfect. 
Oh yeah, there is even the uh, the collector sheet actually, but uh, like I said with the Shogun Transformer, nothing really surprising like how I expect tons of monsters could be in there. But yeah, the, this is not really that exciting, but I mean, like, first review out there, I guess. But, uh, not really, um, worth the money, but it's still nice for, like, a collection purpose, at least. This is basically the weirdest thing I've ever owned in my life, and, uh, I'm not sure if it's actually, like, useful for, like, combat and stuff, but I guess that's there. I'm not disappointed with this, of course. I knew something was not going to be, like, functioning properly. Because, like, the wheels on the Kanzus and other Zeus pets are, like, old. So, most likely this wouldn't function well. But, it's still nice to actually look at the Spider Walker for what it is. Thank you all so much for watching this review. It's not really this exciting, but, uh, it's still great to actually have a Spider Walker. So, that's all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching this. And, uh, have a happy holidays.